Even now as I'm talking right now, I'm also stressed out. Yeah. Yes, I earn. You earn 5,000. Mm. So it's net. Net. You close about 10,000. Wow. Uh, 12 hours above. 12 hours above. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. No holiday. Your own timing. Like 68 years already. Still work. Welcome to Singapore the world's most expensive city to live in the world. The reason why Singapore is expensive is because Singapore is a small island nation with limited agricultural land, which means a lot of food are need to be imported. And it's because a really small country and the demand by the expatriates are really high to live in Singapore, so the property is skyrocketing. So behind me is one of the biggest indoor waterfall that ever made in the history of humankind so far. The Singapore Changi Airport. It's 40 meters high. It costs around 1.7 billion, 1.7 billion Singapore dollar. Y también un dato interesante. La verdad, quien hizo esta cascada no es un Singapur, no es un Singapurense. Sino es un israelí, se llama Moshe Shafdi. Sí, es un hombre que es como un arquitecto, que es como siempre hace esto. Su cascada, esto es su cascada. Esto es su obra de arte, Moshe Shafdi, nombre de israelí. En Singapur es un país donde como hay muchos inmigrantes. Es verdad, hay muchísimos inmigrantes. Para que tú puedas sobrevivir aquí, tú tienes como luchar con todo el mundo. Eso. Tú tienes que luchar con todo el mundo porque es como aquí la competencia es loca. Es loca, te lo juro. Hay todo el mundo aquí. Singapur es como hay todo el mundo. Entonces por eso como para que tú puedes, puedas como sobrevivir, tú tienes que realmente como luchar, ¿sabes? Realmente como luchar por tu posición como eso es el, el ejemplo no okay. eso así que también como Singapur es un país que también como tiene esa voluntad pagar mucho para cualquier persona que pueda o mejorar este país y eso es verdad eso es verdad así que eso es un dato interesante de Singapur So, it's an interesting fact that this thing, okay, it looks, it looks really big, right? And that's my mom. And the thing is, when I say something, my mom can hear, can hear it. Okay, let's try. Ma, dengar ga? Dengar. Shoot! So I think it's because like it's round. It's kind of like sphere. It's kind of like the sound is also like going around there. I don't know if you can hear it like through the video, but me, I can hear it like clearly. Hello, ma. Bisa dengar toh? It's cold, it's clean. This is the, the Strangely Singaporean book. So basically it contains a lot of Singaporean slangs and actually there are a lot of like say like the Hokkien slangs inside this too. So let's try because my mom, she speaks Hokkien so well. Um cek. Mek cek. Mek cek rasanya. Hmm, terus apa itu? Mangkel penuh gini. Pek cek. Bisa jadi. Jadi ini tulisannya kalau orang yang capek gitu ya. Ah, pek cek. Liak bokiu. Liak bokui. Apa ini? Ah, liak bokui. 
Liak Bokui namanya Liak Bokui Liak Bokui Mau ngejain sesuatu itu gak Gak, gak dapet Gak dapet Kayaknya sia-sia gitu hmm. Oh iya Iya <laughs> kan If you smoke like not in, in the place, you will get fined around like 150 US dollar. I mean in Singapore around like 200 dollars. Singapore, so that's like the reason why everyone is really like strict because they smoke in their place. Look, there are like three people who smoke, and all of them smokes there. So yeah. It's kind of like in the thing about Singapore, and not only like smoking, but also uh, like spitting, and also like eating the chewing gum. You cannot throw the chewing gum and spitting anywhere. You want. I mean, you cannot do it just, ooh, just that. They will find you, okay? And it's a lot, 200 Singapore dollars, okay? So I think that's why like this city is really clean. It's really amazing because, yeah, that's the reason. They're really strict. There's there are a lot of restrictions. The next interesting fact is, let's say you're in your house, you just finish your taking a bath, okay, and then you just trying to put your clothes on, but still you're you're naked, okay, and then you go to the window, and then I accidentally see you naked, okay, I can call the police, and they can find you around one thousand Singaporean dollars. Yep, that happens. And also the thing that uh, left me impact when I knew about this is that in Singapore, you cannot steal your Wi-Fi's neighbor because that means you're hacking them and that can cost you 10,000 Singaporean dollars. So guys, don't steal Wi-Fi in Singapore. Wow. So the cheapest place that you can find to eat in Singapore is a place called Hawker. It's like a food court but like in Singaporean way, like an Asian way. And the food starts from 5 Singaporean dollars and up above. To be honest, the food that I ordered in Hawker, especially my food here, it's quite normal, nothing too impressive about it. I mean it's good but it could be better. This is also like the thing that I find in Singapore and I find it pretty good. I find it really interesting, really good for the people. It's like when you eat at the hawker, okay, it's kind of like food court. You turn your tray and crockery back yourself in this place. And this is like non-halal. And this place is kind of like the halal. You know that you are in a country that they are hard worker, but there is no photo box. There's an ID photo box. So this is like a literally a country where everyone works really hard. And when we come back to the hotel, we use Uber. We were in Marina Bay Sands and we wanted to go to Ben Coolen where we stayed. Actually, it's only like two kilometers, but it costs around like $11 or 16 Singaporean dollars. And and during the trip, I talked a little bit with the Uber's driver, and it's really impressive. At least fifty-five thousand. So five thousand—that's like clean. It's I earn. You earn five thousand. Mm. So it's net. Net. You close about ten thousand. Wow. 
And so how many hours do you have to work? Uh, 12 hours above. 12 hours above, yeah. every day? Yes. No holiday? Your own timing. Oh. After Chinese New Year is my holiday. After Chinese New Year, <laughs> just that. And how long have you worked here? 30 years. 30 years? <laughs> Uh, 68 years already. 68? Yeah, woman already. Still work. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Uncle. Bye-bye, yeah. Uncle. Good Uncle. Wow. Five to 10,000. That's clean. That's net. So, like Bruto, he earns per month around above 10,000. Singapore dollars. Kateo. Imagine that. And in Singapore, you will find a lot of old people who are still working here. Most of them works like in the security, or maybe like cleaning service, like cleaning the toilets. Or maybe like if you're in the airport, you will see like a lot of old people working as like taking care of the trolley. And the number of senior citizenship in Singapore, which is like 65 years and above, is around 700,000. And 7 out of 10 Singaporeans, that is 65 years and above, is still working. So this is the National Library building of Singapore. So, unfortunately, they don't let us to record inside the library it's big I had a little bit of video out of it it's good so here is Tuta actually he's from Myanmar his parents are from Myanmar but they came here like back then and then since then Tuta like grown up here I met Tuta from Instagram, so I made a story like anyone in Singapore who wants to meet up. After that, I saw Tuta message and then we met up. So Tuta, what do you think? Living in a, one of the most expensive country in the world, do you like it? In, in terms of safety? Yeah, I would totally live here. I mean, I grew up here most of my life, so... Okay. Singapore, I can say that it's very safe. It's very... You don't need to worry about like people you don't have to worry about being going out late at night alone and like you know you don't have to worry about people like following or stalking you that like you can go out at like 3 a.m and nobody will bother but what that you don't like about singapore that is expensive huh? that is a uh, i mean of course the facilities here everything about here is very developed you yeah, know sure. they're very high they have like the technology is all very very high end uh huh. Like you can like, and then it's very convenient to go to places with public transport. How many hours do you work, actually? Uh, office jobs is usually from nine in the morning to five that uh five in the evening. Okay, so the nine to five. Nine to five jobs. Uh, that's the that's usually the typical lifestyle of an average Singaporean. Uh. Nowadays, people, as you know, uh, even like. They can't sustain themselves with one job, so they usually take on many jobs. Of course, uh, the other, the second job, usually they do it uh, on a more flexible time. Sure. Flexible time for them. Uh. And do you think they live good enough in Singapore by doing that? <laughs> to say that they live good, it would be an overstatement. On the surface, it might appear as if we're having a good life. Uh. But behind the scenes, I'm pretty sure all of us, we are all hurting. All of us are very tired, very stressed out, very exhausted, you know? Wow. So, so you feel like as a Singaporean, you're like stressful? Yeah. Even now, as I'm talking right now, I'm also stressed out. Yeah. Wow. So Tuta, you told me like this. This country is like facing the old generation. So like the old generation is getting more and more instead of the young uh, the aging population yeah. yeah the aging population yeah there's a problem with that because uh, apparently because Singapore has that low birth rate low they don't rate. it's like the do you guys still get married? we do 
But you just don't, that you don't have the kids. It's just that we they don't they choose not to have children because it's very expensive to raise a child. Like if you want to settle down here, think twice. Thank you so much, Tuta. It was really nice to talk to you. So that is life in the most expensive country in the world. I gotta admit that it's really beautiful. You will feel totally safe to be here. And everywhere is accessible. But does all of that really worth the 12 hours work, the stress, the high competitiveness, and maybe working until you're 65 years above? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.